Bonjour mes amis, ça va? Where I'm here. And today, you and I are going to do a simple superb tense which is going to be with you in the 9th and in the 10th, my dear friends, the passé composé. And we are going to do it in just four steps. But before we do the four steps, let's look at this. I have spoken. I spoke. He is dead or he died, not referring to me. Aren't these actions completed in the past? Absolutely, my friends. The passé composé, which is equivalent to the present perfect, have or has, plus past participle in English, or the simple past tense, the passé composé denotes actions completed in the past, not in the recent past, that's the passé reso, in the distant past. And the four steps are, FAPA, FAPA, what's that? F for formation, A for avoir versus être, P for past participle, and A for agreement of the past participle. So, let's have a look at step one. Formation. Look at I, he, subject. Subject is the noun or the pronoun before the verb in an assertive sentence. And you can ask who or what to the verb. So here we are, subject. Have, is, have is both present tense. One of the verb to have, avoir, and the other of the verb to be, etre. So, present tense of either avoir or et. And finally, look at spoken and dead. Past participles, my dear friends. Past participle. So, my dear friends, this is the formation. Just remember this. Subject plus the present tense conjugation of avoir or et plus the past participle of the given verb. Now, do we know the present tense conjugation of avoir and etra? Sir, are you joking? Let's have a look. Avoir. Here we are. Je, tu as, il a, elle a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont, elles ont. Absolutely. And etra. Also we know. Absolutely. Je suis, tu es, il est, elle est, nous sommes, vous êtes, ils sont, elles sont. Fantastic, my dear friends. We know step two. What is step three? Past participles in English. The past participles end in en or ed or ne or t. Spoken, given, finished, done, gone, slept. In French, my dear friends, how do we form the past participles? And here we are. For all regular verbs, they end in er, ir, or re. If they are ending in er, simple, remove the er and add an ague to the e. So here, past participle of parler, drop the er and e ague, it becomes spoken. For all regular ir verbs, drop the ir and add an i. So past participle of fini, to finish, drop the IR and add an I finished. For all regular RE verbs, my dear friends, past participle, drop the RE and add a U. So, my dear friends, vendre to sell, drop the RE and add a U, past participle, vendu, sold. Isn't that amazing? Let's take any one example and conjugate it in the passé composé. Passé composé with avoir. Let's take the verb parler. Formation. Subject plus the present tense conjugation of avoir or etre plus the past participle. Affirmative. We shall use the present tense conjugation of avoir because most verbs, including parler, will take avoir. There are a few verbs that will take etre, which we shall do in the later modules. Now, 
Presidents of Avoir, J, Thua, Ella, Ella, Nuzavo, Wuzave, Ilza, Elza. Past participle is what has to come up next. And the past participle of parle for all regular ER verbs, drop that ER, make it EAGU, spoken. So here we have J parle. I have spoken. Thu a parle. You have spoken. Il a parle. El a parle. He has spoken. She has spoken. Nu zava parle. We have spoken. Vu zave parle. You have spoken. El zan parle. El zan parle. They have spoken. Amazing. Fantastic. Let's do the negative. What's the negative of J? No, before the conjugated verb. Pa after the conjugated verb. So here we are. Je n'ai pas. Tu n'as pas. Il n'a pas. Elle n'a pas. Nous n'avons pas. Vous n'avez pas. Elle n'a pas. Elle n'a pas. So see, the negative has got nothing to do with the past participle. Now we add the past participle. Je n'ai pas parlé. I haven't spoken. Tu n'as pas parlé. You haven't spoken. Il n'a pas parlé, elle n'a pas parlé, he hasn't spoken, she hasn't spoken. Nous n'avons pas parlé, we haven't spoken. Vous n'avez pas parlé, you haven't spoken. Il n'a pas parlé, elle n'a pas parlé, they haven't spoken masculine and feminine. My dear friends, interrogative is there and then irregular past participles are also there and that is exactly what you and I together are going to do in the next module. Stay tuned.